People around the world are remembering the Minnesota family killed while on their way to finish missionary training. They were planning to move to Japan to reach people with their faith. Catherine and Jameson Pals were driving through Nebraska last weekend when a semi slammed into the back of their van. The couple and their children, Ezra, Violent, and Calvin, were killed, as well as someone in another car. Tony Weekly is charged with five counts of vehicular homicide. Witnesses say the Florida trucker was speeding and did not slow down until hitting the Pals vehicle. And today the Pals were remembered in grand fashion mm -hmm. in their home church. And Susan Elizabeth, it sounds like this was shown around the world. Yes, absolutely. They wanted that. They had touched so many people mm -hmm. through their ministry over the years. You know, the Pals loved ones. They wanted to share this memorial. They wanted everyone to see it. So the church broadcast the service live on the World Wide Web. Family, clergy, fellow missionaries, they all shared messages of love, even showing love towards the last person you may expect. On a sunny summer day, they gather to mourn, but also to praise. We come to celebrate their life, you know, so we have hope that someday for me again. And celebrate they did. They thought it's true they were going to Colorado, but God had a better trip planned. A heavenly one. On a day filled with so many questions over such great loss, the pals loved ones found answers in their faith. He's going to use this to so that their lives and Jameson's message will impact the world so much more than they ever could have if they would have gone to Japan. Catherine's parents also paused to offer love for the semi driver charged in their deaths. We are praying for you, Tony. And we do forgive you. There was also a special time to honor the children. Ezra made friends quickly. He is learning to swim and can hold his breath under water for 14 seconds. Oh, dear Ezra, lay down. Her middle name is Joy, and that is fitting. She is a happy, soon to be two year old who loves babies and always wants to go to Caribou Coffee tomorrow. Oh, dear Violet, lay down. Our little guy is quickly becoming not little. He loves to eat, smile, and baby talk. He's probably our toughest baby yet. Lay down, oh, dear Calvin. And together they are remembered family on a mission. Catherine and Jameson's life was a picture of to us. It was to the strength, the faith that they had, the perseverance that they had. Jesus Christ was the center of their lives. Oh, but Jesus, he loves you best. Now, as we said, this was streamed live and the family was actually hoping and trying to make it so that Tony Weekly, the semi driver, was able to watch that message. Now the family has started a foundation in honor of the pals to continue the mission that they started. We've got a link to that on WCCO.com. So loved they were. Oh, what a touching tribute. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Susan Elizabeth. Thank you.